All right, hey everybody, welcome back for another Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 video. Uh, today we're going to be on the Pilot Edge network flying the Cat 9 rating, uh, which is a flight through Class B flyways. We're going to be departing uh, from Burbank here and we're following the route that they recommend on the Cat 9 webpage, which is uh, just a VFR route. Uh, we're going to fly over the Rose Bowl, fly over El Monte, uh, depending on cloud clearances. We're going to see if we can fly over El Monte's Class D airspace. Uh, if clouds don't allow for it, then we'll uh, request to fly through the airspace. Uh, I think we learned in our last flight on the Cat 8 that getting above the clouds didn't work out so well for us in trying to get back down. So I think, and, and we talked about that in route. We said we should probably stay below so we don't get stuck. We ended up deviating from that. We did kind of get, we didn't get stuck, but in the process of trying to come down, we may have uh, flown. So we announced that we were going to be coming down pretty quickly, but we didn't announce that that might result in us coming down into a class delta airspace that we weren't necessarily cleared to. So we were talking to, uh, we were on flight following, talking to approach the whole time, but it was like, yeah, meh. All right, so El Monte, and then uh, here, we'll, since we're entering, uh, since we're in the vicinity of this Bravo, we're going to make sure that we're staying below the shelf, so staying below, below 4,000 feet. Here, they recommend below uh, 3,500 feet. They're just give, That's for the VFR flyaway. They're just keeping you clear, well clear by 500 feet. And then uh, we cross the Delta airspace here, so somewhere in here, once we're out of... Uh, El Monte, but before we get to, so El Monte, we're out of their airspace here. Fullerton, we're entering their airspace here, so sometime, somewhere in here, we're going to get ATIS and uh, get ourselves set up for the approach into Fullerton. So, uh, so the, uh, the requirements to complete the rating, you need to do the flight without entering Class B. Uh, we need to let them know that we're doing the rating, and we need to request flight following. They don't give you a transcript here because we've already done uh, flights in Class Delta and Class Charlie Airport, so all of that stuff has been covered already in previous CAT ratings. So that's pretty much it for the route. Um, we can switch to a... So this is the VFR fly uh, chart. If we switch to the VFR sectional, we can just do one more check for any towers or any other hazards in route uh, I think just towers there's a few towers in in route we'll just keep keep that in mind other than that I think we're good I think we can get rid of that uh, I think we're done there so let's check the ATIS so at Burbank oh you know what I should have uh, Shoot, I want to go back to Sky Vector. Uh, so we're VFR here, green dot, green dots VFR, green dots VFR. If we zoom out, we see lots of green dots. I'm not seeing any. So I guess Whiteman. I can't tell if that's a pink IFR or... Okay, they're marginal here. Everything east of, or west of us, everything south of us, all looks VFR. So I think we're going to be okay. Uh, and then if we hover over here, weather right now, 190 at 8. So we can expect to take off to the south. Uh, what else? 150V210. I don't know what that means. Oh, uh, runway 15 has a, uh, is that like a, I don't know what that is, RVR maybe? 10 stat, no, because it's 10 statute miles. View at uh, 4,700. So that'll keep us nicely clear of the clouds. Temp and dew point have a nice spread. We're not super concerned about fog or anything. 2993, pretty standard pressure day. Let's see for from conditions for the forecast. Looks like six statute miles. 
scattered at 2,000. So we, we could see the uh, cloud layers coming down a little bit. Let's see, time over there. So I think they have a, like a seven hour spread from Zulu. So it'd be about two o'clock. Uh, let me see. So right now here, I'm Eastern time. I'm looking at three. So that's five hours change. So I guess that would, yeah. So we're right about that from 19. So we're looking probably broken at 3000. So we might see a cloud layer coming in. Uh, what do we got here? Scattered at 46 and sky clear. So we're looking for the uh, ceilings to improve along our route. And then just, I want to check here, broken at 3000. So uh, given the fact that we're planning to fly our route at 3000, that's what I put in the VFR flight plan on the pilotage network. Uh, we know that those 3,000 foot ceilings might be a little bit problematic, so we're just going to do the best we can to uh, stay below the clouds and uh, not not have any issues. Worst case scenario, if it gets crazy, we're just going to turn back and go back to Burbank. Uh, I think that about covers the brief. We already talked about few at 37, and then we talked about few at 26. So we're going to. Uh, it looks like I already did connect to the network. No, maybe connected to sim. I don't know. Connect. Connected to network. Logged in. Okay. So let's jump in the aircraft. All right. We'll uh, get this out of our way. Master switch, so beacon's on, master switch is coming on, we can, uh, fuel shut off, I don't, I don't like that interface, open, yes, we want it open, what else, uh, fuel pump's coming on, oh, come on, our, our, uh, I should really start checking to make sure that this is connected before I launch our flights or start the videos. So per the use, if anybody's used to watching this channel, typically with Air Manager, I launch the plugin installer even though I've already installed it. For whatever reason, sometimes it doesn't like to disconnect. I don't know if my order of operations is off or what, but as soon as I do that, Air Manager goes from searching for the network, and then all of a sudden it tells me it's connected, so I think we're good now. Okay, uh, what are we doing here? So, fuel pump's on. We'll make sure that guy's touch enabled. Uh, I think we're going to go full rich on the mixture. We can clear around the aircraft. Everything looks clear. Let's... Uh, Go ahead and crank. Come on to start. Clear prop. Yeah, adjusting for a thousand RPM. Also want to make sure. All right. Uh, where are we at? Let's get our radios all set up. So avionics are coming on. Place these. Uh. Using our power toys, fancy zones to place these guys. as quickly as possible. All right, we'll take our transponder on. We won't go to alt quite yet. And I think we can start uh, getting our radios tuned in. So let's get ATIS here at Burbank 1345. Quiet so far. I'm wondering, are we connected properly? Apparently so. Burbank Glendale Pasadena Airport. Aegis Information Uniform. 
1853 Zulu. Wind 180 between 150 and 210 at 8. Visibility 10. Few clouds at 4700. Temperature 17. Dew point 6. Altimeter 29 or 9 or 3. Arriving and parting runway 15. Visual approaches in use. Land and hold short operations in effect for non turbojet aircraft landing runway 15. 4,250 feet available. VFR departures contact clearance delivery, advise on course heading, altitude, and if flight following is requested. Read back all runway assignment hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact you have information uniform. Okay, uniform. So they say contact clearance delivery, we're going to have to let them know we want flight following to Fullerton. And it's the Cat 9. So where are we now? We are at, we're parked at the FBO. They're using 1-5, so they're probably going to have us taxi via possibly Delta Bravo. Uh, so we're going to be taxiing for a VFR departure with flight following to Fullerton and we're going to let them know we're a Cessna 172 Slant Golf. What else do we need? Let's uh, tune ground in there. Ground is 1239. West ramp, taxi with Yankee. Lever 40, Juliet Alpha, and John Wayne, tower from right is zero, 118. Right at Kilo, taxi via Bravo Kilo. Taxi via Bravo Kilo, 40, Juliet Alpha. Burbank clearance delivery, Cessna 4523 November, currently parked at the FBO, uh, looking for a clearance with flight following to Fullerton uh, VFR. Uh, this will be for the CAT 9. We have information uniform. November 4523 November, Burbank clearance, maintain VFR at or below 2500. Departure frequency 134.2, squawk 7472. At or below 2,500, uh, 134.2, squawk 7472, Cessna 4523, November. November 23, November, read back, correct. Okay, uh, let's switch up ground, 1239. Uh, no, what did I do wrong? That's ground control, 1239. Oh, so I... I didn't call clearance, I called ground. Santa Barbara ground, November 333 Zulu Alpha, um, parked in the south of the field of Atlantic, or ready for taxi with X-ray. Yeah, so I didn't call clearance, I called ground and they just gave it to us, so we'll November roll with it. November 333 Zulu Alpha, Santa Barbara ground, runway 25, taxi via Bravo Let's do Alpha a quick run-up. We'll uh, look at the aircraft, all the way left, taxi to Alpha, uh, tw Quick box five, check all of our five, flight controls. Bravo Alpha. Look good. Three, 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 no three, binding or restrictions alpha. anywhere. We can. Uh, do we have a test button Point on our ground, dash? We, we don't. Four, Bravo, uh, our ramp, instruments. Airspeed looks good. It's all the markings eight, are there. One, it's four, reading Bravo, zero. Bravo, attitude. One, six, pitch level. Eight, wings yeah, level. Alpha. Altimeter two nine. Way, one, six, via alpha, eight, one, four, nine four, three per the ATIS looks good. And that gives us a elevation right here of just about 700. We'll uh, adjust that just a little bit. 299. Friendly Tower, Warrior 35 X-ray, midfield downwind, runway 29. November 35 X-ray, runway 29, clear for the option. Clear for the option, runway 29, Warrior 35 X-ray. We know we're taking off 1-5 most likely, so I'll put that there. Okay, uh, so altimeter looks good, RPM is 1,000, uh, turn coordinator is level ball in the center. Uh, our 
heading situation indicator, horizontal situation indicator, 250 match it, 255 matches the compass. Uh, vertical speed zero, not climbing, not descending. I think we're looking good there. Let's see, do we have anything else, VOR or anything that we can use? We'll use the Fullerton VOR just to say we did. Uh, 115. Two, seven. Seven, one, tango. Clear to the Fresno Airport. Via on departure, fly runway heading. Radar vectors, San Marcos. Direct shafter, Echo Hotel Fox Drop. Victor 165. Two lead, Tango Tango Echo. Alita 9 arrival. Maintain 3000. Then expect 1,000. One, one, departure frequency 120.55. One fifteen seven. Let's see. Why is that not pointing to? Uh... Citation two three seven one Tango is cleared to Fresno. Fly runway heading. Then vectors. I'm not entirely market. sure why that's not uh, working. Then we'll need some help. Uh, altimeter three thousand. Suck one seven thousand. Maybe we're too far away from it. That's probably a four five zero seven one Tango. Well, we'll get. Uh, we know we're going to be heading generally to the south. So I'll have it pointing to the south. Foxtrot. Victor 165. 210 is probably pretty Tango, close. Tango Echo. So we'll expect Alita that to come in arrival. sometime during Alpha, our flight. Lima, Tango, Tango, Alpha, Other than that, I think we're good to start taxiing. So we'll take the landing light, taxi light, right, nav and strobes runway, on. Adding, then direct San Marcos. And we'll uh, uh, give ground a call. Then direct Shafter, Victor 165, Thule, Alpha 9 arrival, 71 Tango. Number 71 Tango, read back, correct. Victor V Tower is calling in two zero nine zero four six ten. Just trying to think, did we give them all the information we needed to? I think we did. Number two zero nine zero four six Victorville Tower, enter right down one runway two one report. Oh, we can put seven four seven two in the transponder. And we're just going to take that to Alt and uh, Mode C right here. So we don't forget, because we forgot last flight. We know we're going to be talking to 1342 after takeoff. So we'll have that ready to go. Burbank Ground, Cessna 4523 November, ready to taxi. Number 4522 November, Burbank Ground, in position. Uh, we're at the FBO. Are you on? But uh, where where on the field are you? Which FBO? Uh, just off of Delta Taxiway. Okay, number four five two three November runway eight taxi via Delta. Via Delta for runway one five Cessna four five two three November. Uh, November four five two three November. That was for runway eight. Do you um, runway one five is in use and available? Would you prefer that? If eight's uh, better for you, we can do eight, no problem. Roger, runway eight, taxi via Delta. Runway eight via Delta. Oxmark Tower, Baron 20, Bravo, inside Nelly. I didn't. Two, zero, I don't know Bravo, if you told Oxford us Tower, a runway three, before five, and I just missed it, but two, five, I just wanted land, to be sure. Two, zero, Bravo. Okay, so we're gonna do eight. Bullet Tower, Arrow, Turn that in there. Charlie, left downwind for runway one six. And let's start Brakes coming off. Start coming forward. Quick brake check. We'll act like this guy is not right in front of us. November 333 Zulu Alpha, Santa Barbara Tower, runway 25, cleared for takeoff. Jeff check off 333 Alpha. All right, this is Delta. Go ahead, tower stairs eight one four Bravo Golf, holding shore one six IFR. November four zero Juliet Alpha, contact departure. Contact departure four zero Juliet Alpha. November eight one four Bravo Golf, go ahead, tower runway one six, quick to take off, no delay. Traffic is uh, beam the numbers, turning for a base. Clear for takeoff one six, no delay. Eight one four Bravo Golf. Santa 
Monica Ground, Skyhawk 493, Romeo Mike, IFR to Santa Barbara with Tango. I will add we are flying with the uh, fall season set in our seasons modification. So uh, we're starting to see some yellows and oranges in the trees here. Those look pretty cool. So if, if you guys notice on takeoff that the scenery looks a little different than normal, that's what you're looking at. We also have our uh, radio towers and cell towers mod enabled. So on takeoff, if there's any towers, we might uh, we might fly over those. Clear to Santa Barbara, fly heading three one zero to the LAX radial two five zero radar vectors to Santa Monica. Then it's filed up to three and six after one zero minutes one two five point two squawk four six two five Skyhawk three Romeo Mike. All right, we'll hold here. We'll take a quick look. Contact departure three three zero Alpha. Great one. Not seeing anybody, and we'll make a call. So let's switch up. Los Angeles Center eight one Tower one one eight seven. And we're gonna tune Los Angeles three one zero radio. Approach in there. Is there a Burbank approach on this? But I'll bet. I'll bet if we pull. Then the rest is. Radar vectors, Santa Monica, then it's filed. Skyhawk 3, Romeo Mike. November 3, Romeo Mike, negative. Why, runway heading. <laughs> Track the runway Someone's heading off of the runway. Until you reach Should the Los Angeles 310 radial, then turn right, heading 250. Vectors for Santa Monica. Oh, so just choose a random departure and see if they list it. Right. Skyhawk three Romeo Mike. Oh, they gave us they gave us so one three, one, one, three four three, two. Los Angeles three one zero radio. I'm being dumb here. Heading two five zero. Los Angeles radio three one zero. Then heading three two five zero. Skyhawk three Romeo Mike. Over three Romeo Mike. Is that correct? Alright, one three four. Tower, uh, Warrior three five X ray on downwind for two nine. Clear for the option. Clear for the option. Runway nine. Warrior three five X ray. Kilo Tower Arrow two eight two November Delta ILS two six right. Number two eight two November Delta Chino Tower runway two six right. Clear to land. Clear to land two six right. Arrow two eight two November Delta. Victor Tower is calling two zero nine four six midfield four two one. Number two zero nine four six runway two one. Clear to land. Tower 21, clear to land, 9 Air Force 6. Burbank Tower, Cessna 4523 November, holding short, runway 8, ready for takeoff. Cessna 4523 November, Burbank Tower, runway 8, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 8, 23 November. Alright, let's go. One more quick look on our way out of here, and we're coming forward. All right, our uh, GPS tells us we're on eight. Our horizontal situation indicator tells us on eight, and we're verifying with the runway here. Clear, uh, one, six, eight, alpha, three, so eight lights are on three, three, camera. Three, we're squawking alpha, alt, alpha, 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 and our correct frequency action. Alpha, around the Flaps and trim are set. Fuel pumps on. Mixture is full rich. Firewall. Twenty-three fifty. And, Airspeed's uh, alive. Tower, looking to taxi back two five to pick up another IFR class. To hit your looking for sixty knots. There's sixty uh, uh, and looking to rotate. Roger, runway two five, taxi via Fox Trot Alpha. Monitor ground and call for your IFR. Two five via Fox Trot Alpha. We'll monitor ground to hit your Bravo. We plan to climb out at seventy. told us to stay at or below 2,500. Yeah, that Atlantic looks like fall. Two, three, seven, one, tango, uh, at Atlantic Taxi I Project. I don't know if that's fall in SoCal, but it looks good. Number 2371 Tango, Center River Ground, and my 25 Taxi via Bravo Alpha Golf. Runway 25 via Bravo Alpha Golf, Station take up. Uh, I'm trying to decide what to do with the clay. Roger, Cessna 4523 November. November 4523 November, contact departure. Switching departure, 4523 November. Okay, we'll keep the climb going, we'll climb up and over this.
and we'll switch departure. Departure Cessna 4523 November, climbing through 1005 for 3000. November 4523 November, SoCal departure, resume on navigation and appropriate VFR altitudes. Own navigation and altitudes, 4523 November. KLM 360124.62. So, Colonel Brooks, good afternoon. FedEx 3454, heavy information, Lima 14000 for Magic. FedEx 3454, so Cal approach, descend and maintain 8000. 8, and uh, thanks for the weather, expect ILS runway 26. Uh, do you want the left side or the right side? Uh, down to 8000, we'll take the uh, 26 left side. Uh, left side, please, for uh, 3454 heavy. Might have to FedEx keep going. 3454 heavy, Roger, expect ILS runway 26 left. Down to 8,000, we'll expect the ILS 26 left, FedEx 3454 heavy. Okay, 360, LA Center, descend via the Lucky 2 arrival. Sorry, descend via the Lucky 1 arrival. Okay, we can take the fuel pump off. We'll leave the mixture where it is as we continue to climb. We're just going to try to cut around this cloud, making very uh, certain that we're not going to do anything near this Bravo here. Uh, so we're at 3,000, um, but they told us we're resuming VFR navigation and altitudes. So. Uh, we're good there. Four Bravo Tango, looks like you're pretty far north of the uh, final approach course right now. Where are you going? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna cancel. I'll try again later. Thanks. Three Four Bravo Tango. Roger, I'm gonna have to log that as a non-passing grade for the I-10 though, just because uh, you're pretty far off course now. No problem. It's I'll a try it again some other time. Thanks. Three Four Bravo Tango. Have a good day. Look, I'm approaching about five thirty-one. I'm with you. 5, uh, so we tried to stay below and uh, to stay below the clouds and very quickly uh, <laughs> 531 Bravo Delta SoCal Approach Squawk 5423 and uh, I missed your request if you have I don't think we were off the airport for five minutes before we ended up above the clouds it's just kind of a bummer but it's a tough call to scud run below the clouds or when you could see the top of the clouds right at that 3,500 where it, yeah, tough call. Uh, we know that we're going to have to get back down below before we start, you know, getting south of, uh, I don't remember what this airport's called, whatever EMT is, El Monte. We're one Bravo Delta radar contact a mile north of we'll uh, see. Tokes. And again, I'm hearing your, your check in. I'm just not hearing any requests. Say request. I'll pop up a request to go the corridor south with the destination. Uh, I wonder if we can kind of get turned on course, course here. Uh, ten, 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 up ten. 531 Bravo Delta Roger, I understand. And what's the name of the transition that you're looking for? Uh, it's tough to tell. Where one Bravo Delta advise established on the coastal route outside of Bravo airspace at 5,500. Where bank altimeter 2993. I just feel like that's that's skirting pretty close to the Bravo, and I feel like it's just asking to bust it. I think we're going to come down. We are. FedEx 3454 Cross Pettis, at or above 4,700, cleared ILS, runway 26 left approach. 
Head is 4,700 clear to ILS 26 left approach FedEx 34. So I got the mixture full rich and the throttles all the way back. We're going to see if we can come back down. So I'm going to call SoCal. SoCal approach, Cessna 4523 November with VFR request. 4523 November, go ahead. Uh, we're wondering if we can get a clearance through the uh, El Monte Delta. We just don't want to get stuck above the uh, clouds trying to get into uh, our destination here. 4523 November, yeah. You can uh, proceed through Delta airspace unless you, you're specifically told that you can't. Uh, so yeah, you can proceed on course, and I'll let them know. Okay, appreciate that. All right, we got a turn here. So we are 100% scud running. Not what we set out to do, but this is kind of where we're at right now. The visibility is reported good. Yeah, this is not at all what we want to be doing. We're not going to be able to go that way. It looks fairly clear this way. 423 November contact, SoCal approach 134.2. Sorry, 135.4. 1354, 4523 November. 135. So this is uh, bringing me back to my helicopter days. So, Roger, Skyhawk 493, Romeo Mike, passing 543. 493 room to Mike, still got the barge at radar contact, climb to maintain 6,000. Climb to maintain 6, Skyhawk 3, Romeo Mike. <clears throat> SoCal approach, Cessna 4523, November uh, 1000. Oops, 1354. SoCal approach, Cessna 4523, November 1000. We're 4523 November, SoCal approach. El Monte altimeter, 2998. 2998, 4523 November. 2998. And we are at 1000. Put that back. Okay. Clouds definitely cleared up compared to uh, where we just were. That's kind of what the weather forecast told us they would do, so we're looking okay here. We're not super comfortable flying this route. Uh, I don't think we would be doing this in a real airplane, put it that way. <laughs> I was much more okay doing this in the real world with a helicopter. To verify search 4.9. So, we're getting, we have Fullerton direct, directly ahead of us. We have uh, the Bravo coming up shortly after. Our altitude has us clear of the Bravo, so we're looking good here. I wonder if this guy, so it's the same controller as yesterday, I wonder if he remembers the stunt we pulled yesterday. <laughs> Falling out of the sky into the delta to try to dive down below the clouds. That was an exciting flight. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer to the, yeah, it's, it's a tough call here. A thousand feet does not give us much time to react. If we were to have anything happen to us, but... Contact, See if we can get up another 500 feet without getting too close to the clouds. So Cal approach, 40 Julie Alpha, 5000 at Kelp. Soon as Report we are Julie clear. So Cal approach, Palomar altimeter, 299 or 7, expect ILS. Runway 24 approach, after Oceanside, fly heading 080. After Oceanside, fly heading 080. 40 Julie Alpha. Looks like we lost our map.
Air 531 Bravo Delta, SoCal approach, cleared through Bravo airspace via the coastal route. Maintain VFR at 5,500 while inside of Bravo airspace. Los Angeles, Al Pimpeter, 299. Oh, some serious distracted flying going on here. No big deal. 4,000. We need to stay away from that Bravo shelf because it starts at 2,500. We're just cutting it close. Well, this rising terrain isn't super fun. We'll make it work. Be clear of Fullerton here pretty soon. Contact SoCal approach one two four point three five. What do you think? Should we uh, do a touch and go right here? Seven one tango, <laughs> turn right, direct Shafter, and contact LA Center one three five point five. Right turn, direct Shafter, uh, contact center one three five point five. Citation seven one tango. The fall scenery is cool. Oh, there's our uh, power lines. San Diego approach, KL360. Going to South Passes. Wondering KL what our fly chart looks like. Uh, Lindbergh altimeter, 3000. Whiskey is current. Cleared localizer, runway 27 approach. Honestly, n n I don't know if I like flying with the flyaway charts. It's just a, uh, it's like not my normal sight picture, so I feel like it throws me off a little bit. Look out departure, Baron 280, Bravo, 1100 for 4000. All right, we need to get ATIS because we're coming up pretty soon. So Cal approach Cessna 4523 November. I'd like to off tune for a minute to pick up the ATIS. 5,000. Uh, I stepped uh, on I him. Stepped on. Bear 80 Bravo radar contact. Climb and maintain 5,000. Climb and maintain 5,000. <coughs> Bear into it, zero Bravo. So Cal approach 4523 November. I'd like to off tune for a minute to pick up the ATIS at Fullerton. Bear 23 November. After you get the weather, you can contact Fullerton Tower. Uh, the uh, radar service is terminated. Service is terminated. We'll switch tower after the ATIS. Thanks. All right. Uh, ATIS is 12505. Uh, one, two, five. Please don't crash on me, simulator. So, Kyle, departure. Good afternoon. FedEx 3454 is going around Ontario. Heading, one two uh, five oh five. 5. Uh, number two three seven one tango LA Center climb and maintain one seven thousand. X thirty four fifteen Julian one eight five three Zulu wind one seven zero at six visibility one zero sky condition clear temperature one niner d point one zero altimeter two niner nine or five arriving and departing runway two four. Visual approaches in use. I hate that I have to do this, assignments but I and think I do. Short instructions. Advise on initial contact that you have information too late. Fullerton Municipal Airport. I just can't, can't risk the low frame rate and this thing dropping out. 170 at 6. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature 1 niner. Dew point 1 0. Altimeter 299 or 5. Arriving and departing runway 24. Visual approaches in use. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact that you have information, Juliet. Juliet. Fullerton Municipal Airport. Eight is information, one, Juliet. 1591. One. Zulu. Win 170 at 6. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature one niner, dew point one zero, altimeter two niner nine or five. All right, one one nine one. We're coming right up on the delta here pretty soon. 
Fullerton Tower, Cessna 4523 November. Uh, we're at Cessna approximately four miles north of the field, uh, inbound for full stop with Juliet. Number 4523 November. Fullerton Tower, enter right base from right 24, quit land. Right base, runway 24, clear to land. Cessna 4523 November. Right. Clear the Full speed, speed again, one coming in. Runway 24. Number 6981 Bravo, John Wayne Clarence. Number 6981 Bravo, uh, take a look at the routing for the I-7 and file the proper routing for your flight. Uh, Roger. All right, that looks like Fullerton right there. We look like we're on a right base for 2-4. I think we're set up here, so I'm going to uh, go full rich on the mixture. We'll take the fuel pump on. We'll do a gums check. So gas, left and right tanks looks good. Undercarriage is fixed. Mixture is full rich. Pump is on, fuel pump. And then uh, seat belts are on. Switches are all set. Our landing light, taxi light. Landing light is on. Uh, we'll leave the taxi light on so we don't forget about it. Uh, what else are we missing here? Uh, Takeoff trim is set, so we'll trim for our approach and then flaps as required on the way in. He did clear us for landing, and uh, after landing, we said we're going to be so we're going to be pulling off to the left for transient parking. We got 100 knots here. We're looking good. We're on a right base. We don't have any more reports to make to him, and he did clear us to land, so I think we're looking good here. We are a little fast. Get below our flap speed. Flap's coming down. Coming right. Looking notch of flaps. Throttle is all the way back. I think we're looking good here. Seventy knots, we're looking good. Third notch of flaps, we got it made. Let's get aligned here. Try to get over the runway. Lead off that airspeed. Lead it off. And we're down. All right. Keep runway aligned. Try to air brake. We just missed that taxiway. No problem. Hit the next one. Got one coming up here. We're on the brakes and we'll come off to the left. All right, nobody on the taxiway. I think we're looking good here. So we'll come off. That car is pulling a move. Yeah, we're looking good. We're clear. We'll hold it there. And we're Number trying to. Two, train November, taxi to parking via Alpha, remain us frequency. And uh, pass for the Cat 9, you just looked like you were a little low the whole time. The flight, keep in mind you can go uh, up to about 3,500 for that flight. Okay, we'll taxi via Alpha, understand it's a pass. Uh, appreciate the, uh, the tips. We were uh, playing with the clouds, trying to stay below, and just, we were close. Thank you. Not sure. Okay, uh, via Alpha. So here we go. We'll clean up the aircraft. Flaps coming up.
Yeah, that was a uh, that was a Trent Palmer flight right there. <laughs> Stole action. All right, looking for fuel. Let's see, I don't see FBO listed anywhere on here. So I think we'll just pull off here. Oh, there's a fuel truck down there towards the end. I wonder if there's fuel down there. It says there's a run-up area there. This out the right is the terminal according to our airport diagram. Yep. Is that fuel? Maybe. Maybe not. All right, we'll pull in here. Uh, Santa Luis Tower Warrior 35 X-ray. Uh, Midfield's downwind. Uh, we'll do a full stop this time. Get out of your hair uh, for runway 29. For 35 X-ray, uh, it's no problem for me. But runway 29, clear to land. Good, all right. Clear to land. Runway 29. Warrior 35 X-ray. That looks like fuel. Except, uh, looks like they're fueling up the car. You picked a great spot to park, dude. Awesome. No problem. Don't mind us. Los Angeles Tower, Skyhawk 556, five, Sierra Bravo, holding short runway 25. Right, right. We'll ready put it right there. We'll five, get five, six, the uh, Bravo, Los Angeles brakes Tower, on, right, parking brake is set. Jump back in the aircraft and we'll shut it down. Two, five, right, six, Sierra Bravo. Tell me, clear at the Mooney, right, fuel Bravo, pump's coming off. Catalina with Alpha with the I all of our yeah, lights can come off, clear, clear except for the beacon. Take our transponder off. Uh, avionics can come off. Mixture is coming back. That'll cut the engine. Master switches can come off. And then last, we'll do the mags, and we'll hop out. And we can get some fuel. So good flight. The uh, the scenery, the fall scenery was kind of cool. So uh, another uh, shout out to Bijan, the developer that put that mod out there. Still uh, still enjoying that. Definitely thinking it was worth worth the addition. Uh, we'll try a new scenery for the next one. I think our next flight is going to be the Cat 10. That'll be uh, I think that's some uh, Bravo airspace uh, operations. So uh, I hope you guys learned something this flight. Probably not uh, the kind of scud running you want to do in the real world in a Cessna, but uh, we did it because it's a simulator and <laughs> we can. <laughs> it's still good training, and it, if anything, if you're going to get the training, I'd rather do it in a simulator where if you do something screwy, you're not going to be unsafe as opposed to trying to get that experience in the real world. So another plus for reasons why you should have a simulator that's... Uh, know as realistic as possible and be on the pilot edge network so that you're task saturating yourself in the simulator and uh yeah so far the investment is paying paying itself off i do feel like it's making me a better pilot and uh, i can't wait to get back to flying in the real world and see how the uh the training pays off so hope you learned something i did uh we'll see you on the next one peace